So someone asked, uh, would hiring a VA be the first step? And the answer is 100% yes. The executive assistant VA is always the first hire we recommend, right? Why? Because they handle all the admin type stuff that never makes you money. So we always think about what's going to increase our revenue. What's going to increase our revenue so that we can build a team. If we build a team, they can operate the different systems that we have going on so that we can step out of the business and work on the business, right? So we want to start with the non-money making activities so that we can work on more money making activities, more growth activities. So that's the second thing is we got to strategically plan by looking at activities that we're doing and then start to think about who can we put in place? Now, I want to give you guys a, a great a link that I recommend to all of my private clients. I do a lot of coaching, so I want to give you guys. It's actually called freeup.net. And we recommend this to get started. And freeup.net is a really great place to find virtual assistants, pre-vetted freelancers for many different things that you can look at. And, um, and top talent that you don't have to pay either five to $15, 15 to $30 or 30 to $75. There are different levels that you can think about. It's freeup.net. I can share my probably screen super fast so you can see it. I wanted to make sure that I give it to you. It's pretty cool. It's really easy. You get people really fast. A lot of our clients get people really, really quickly. And you can see all the different things that they do. And if you want a VA, they definitely help you on the VA side. And you can look at the different levels that you can do this. Now, there's no reason why you shouldn't start here, right? Now, I'm not saying that this is the end all be all, but it's a really easy way for you to get going so you can start making more money, right? Because that's what's probably holding you back is you've got so many things that you're doing and you're doing it all. And, I, and I've been there, right? It's stressful. Like your business, when you stop, your business stops. That is not what we want you to do, be doing, right? We don't want you to be in a state of overwhelm. We want you to be a state in flow, right? We want you to clear your mind. And there's no way you can clear your mind when you're back to back to back to back to back. It's impossible, right? That's why they say the best ideas come when you unplug. But if you can't take time off your business because then you can't pay for anything, how do you unplug? So we start with one, being that person stepping up into that person, understanding, is this the stuff that I should do or not? Two, strategically planning on the things that we need to do. Strategically planning on the things that we need to do. And number three, this is something that was newer to me, but it felt really good once I understood this. So many people say, you have to be like this leader. You have to be an amazing leader to be a business owner, right? You have to be a leader. And I'm like, I don't know anything about leadership. <laughs> Where do I learn this stuff on leadership, right? How do I, how do I become a better leader? And so, you know, you do have to manage, you have to, you have to understand like how people operate. But the thing that I like to think about is not leading, but coaching. See, I'm a much better coach than what I would say leader. I would rather coach people than lead people because a coach to me coaches them to do something better. A leader leads them like they are the leader to do it, right? It's a different mindset, a different perspective. So on our team, we have a saying and the saying is build the people, let the people build the business. What does that mean? It means it's so good. It's so freaking good. Every time I say it, it just brings me back. It means that your role as the founder, CEO and managing director, whatever you want to call yourself, is to find the people to build the business. In the pamphlet of starting your business, it was never meant to do yourself. You are not supposed to do this all by yourself. Now, you might be like, cash flow is tight. How am I supposed to do this? Again, strategically plan to get there. And we're, we got a couple of questions that are going to help you with getting there for sure. Um, that I'm going to give you some uh, insights on for prioritizing. But one of the things that you really can think about is how do I coach my people to do better? And so for us, we actually put our client, our team members into coaching programs. We get coaches for our team members. We give them courses, information, because it's not my role to do their stuff for them. It's their role. So my role as the business owner is cast the vision. The team's role is tell me how they're going to complete the vision. 
that feels so much better, right? I don't feel like I have to get my hands dirty all the time. Now, am I willing to do it? Yes, I have a whatever it takes attitude. I'm willing to get dirty. I, I do do a lot of work. That, that being said, that's not my role. My role is casting the vision. The team's role is executing the vision and telling me how we're going to get the vision, right? So it's really easy to get team members to say, here, do this, do that, and they do it. It's harder to get team members to tell you what to do to get that, right? So again, mindset shifts, right? Different perspectives, different ways that you can think about this different ways you can think about this. So we want you to think about being a coach, not being a leader. And that's really gonna be effective in helping you start to systemize everything in your life, right? Again, this can go with, you know, being an employee. It can be with being self-employed, being a business owner, being an investor. It can be with your health, your relationship, your kids, right? Do you wanna be the leader of your kids or do you wanna be a coach to your kids? Those are the three things I would be working on to move from the self-employed side to the business owner side.